Hi, I'm Rastam. I'm a product manager and here with me is Isa. He's a software architect. Uh, Isa, you started a development at the age of nine and you for the past five years you are developing and you use while coding, right? Yes. yes. Uh, which, which tools you use actually? Cursor. That's the that's a primary tool that I use for that's my ID. Yeah. I also oh, use so you use cursor for it. Too. So there is a huge uh, noise around white coding. Yeah. So even even people coming out and saying actually yeah. the next thing is why not the next thing that right now itself people need to do white coding and uh, there is a lot of noise. Before actually getting into how a developer should use white coding, I just want to ask you actually you started early in your life coding, right? So how you think actually one of the CEO of a large company saying every child should learn white coding. So how what is your take on that? I think it's important that young people or people who are starting to code should not use AI. Should not use AI. Should not AI, use AI because or else their foundation will be kind of cracked. AI finishes the 90% of the thing. They barely understand. They kind of just prompt 24-7. In fact, like a lot of the newbie developers over here, uh, mainly a lot of their new generation developers were copy-paste developers. Like, you know, You're saying new generation. Okay, this is he's saying new generation. No, oh, that's okay. Man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. He's an old developer because he's doing development for the five years and so the new, the upcoming developer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an experience. I had an experience. Last day I was teaching your sister, Fama, Fatima, uh, coding actually. And uh, we were we were doing a project actually, readability. For your understanding, readability is a project where actually where uh, the we need to develop a program in C where actually the, the, the user need to ask for a put some word sentences into the prompt and when i put some in the terminal i put word it will analyze the sentences and will say what is a reading grade for that grade one or grade two or grade three or 16 plus grade 16 plus this is this is actually the output of the uh, uh, the program so we are doing we are not at all using my coding we are using c that to a base language and uh, we were developing it and uh, there I happened actually we had a problem of stungation that means uh, that means actually there are actually a lot of calculation like actually letters per word word per sentence this we need to calculate to analyze the grade level we did a mistake we did a bug where actually uh, the, the output was very wrong and so we were brainstorming, we were going into the code and looking into the things. We identified it was a case of truncation. Truncation means when you assign a int by int, int divided by int, a number of letters and number of words are int, then both of them are divided. Even if your, your answer, you put it in a float, it will give, it will truncate the decimal point. So in multiple stages, when it gets truncated, the answer will be, and not unreliable, a different answer than what we expect. Mm -hmm. So this was happening with our program. We, only because we went into that, we thought about these things, we identified the truncation. If it is a, is it a, a doing, A will not have the truncation issue, right? No, yeah. because it will give you the right solution from the start, and even if you give the wrong answer, it will be able to pinpoint exactly why you're getting that. But the problem is, if a beginner was doing that program, he'll most likely have the main logic generated by AI, and the issue is that they don't get to uh, get bugs, they don't get to encounter bugs, and perhaps encountering bugs is one of the most important things. That encountering bugs is the most, yes, I agree totally with it. Because even though me and Fatima learned truncation uh, before, but she's just nine year old, so she learned truncation before. She never understood clearly the concept. Yeah. When we stood upon that uh, that that bug yeah. and we stumbled on it, we were crazy. So then now you asked Fatima about truncation. She knows well because she suffered the problem of truncation for one day. Exactly. The problem is like even if beginners kind of, if they especially using AI tools, even if they encounter bugs, the problem is they have a tendency to just kind of go through, skip the stuff without really understanding what was underlying issue, why did that happen, because something else happened. So they don't have that kind of flow and I think so you are I against guess. completely against a beginner starting to code white coding. Yeah, yeah I and, and I remember you are against when your brother wanted a cursor account. He was you are very against because 
you want him to actually develop a core understanding of the low level language yeah i know i know that can we can understand that so now comes to actually isa for a experienced developer but i think for people who are looking forward to spend their days prompting 24 is that perhaps that might be a best option yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i don't think i'm going to sell like that yeah so think about a experienced programmer nowadays people say actually uh, you can save uh, three days of a week by prompt coding or by coding you don't need to do all the programs but at the same time there is another always coming from this uh, development in the uh, world uh, even the experienced developers coming and saying why coding is actually more work it is not less work they need to go and fix this buggy code they need to fix all the security vulnerability and their code have multiple security vulnerability so what is your take you been using my coding and how you think i do think wipe coding can improves the developer productivity by a huge margin um that but I, like yeah, i think there are a lot of studies out there that say that it's increasing developers work etc uh what i think that could be more clear is how they are using web coding or cursor etc how are they prompting cursor how is the general workflow look like i mean like what the cursor is just kind of like an intern who doesn't know where the code base is goes does into uh, cursor is intern yeah you know, oh cursor guys you need to know isha said Cursor is an intern. Okay, okay. Yeah. So probably it's kind of like an intern who doesn't understand like you know duplicates the same function that's written uh, across in the code base, and then uh, basically just they don't have a code base awareness where all the files are being executed, and they just kind of copy accessing functionality. Ex- how about the security yeah. vulnerability? It opens doors to security vulnerability. So how do you mitigate that? I think. But PR reviews are the best way to mitigate that. Um, so are uh, there also the question? You said PR reviews can mitigate uh, the security vulnerability, yeah. but even people saying actually A can be a PR review, and there are yeah. products which actually yeah. are. And that's surprisingly so, well. It's uh, yeah. It. Especially when we do the tool cleaning, we find a lot of bugs, etc. For example, if you have a PR, it does it gives you PR way faster than waiting for a human. So PR. you are saying actually you are you need to you can remove a human from the PR process. No, you can't remove entirely, but to a certain extent, yes, you can. At least I think it's good that you classify certain parts of the code base as. L, you know, level two, L one, etc. And for example, if there's any stuff L one, then human reviewers have to really go through the uh, code line by line, figure out everything. But L two B, I think they just want to skim to just ensure that the main small small aspects, like the main criteria, that the code the code follows the standards, etc. I think that's pretty important. That's that's great discussing with you, Isa. uh let's meet again and actually discuss another topic related to technology product and ai and all those things around it okay thank you bye bye see you bye guys